That's speedometer, voltmeter, amp meter. Okay, what I plan on doing is going 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. I have three buoys set up. These are my crawdad traps, one, two, and three. And I plan on just following the guide of the buoys at each speed and recording my results. Direction is downed. Current is the NT300 setup. Three batteries, minus the crawdads. I'm gonna take them out right now. Twenty percent throttle, forty volts, two and a half amps, three miles an hour. Forty percent throttle. Okay, here it is. Here's the trolling motor setup. These battery cases are empty, and I put the other trolling motor in here just so it's easier on my back. I don't have to come back to the dock. So these are empty. These are light. Nothing's in them. It gives the advantage to the trolling motors because of the less weight. One of those trolling motors only weighs about it weighs less than a battery. So regardless, this this setup is a little lighter. And I'm gonna take the crawdad's trap back out, and um, yeah, that's how we're gonna be rolling on the trolling motors and then on the water I'll just switch the trolling motors over. Speed one, trolling motor, 12 volt. This is the Go Plus 46 pound. Speed two, two miles an hour, 10 amps. Speed three, got up three. Speed five. Overload. Speed five. Uh, Minn Kota motor. Speed one, one miles an hour. We're hitting one. I hit two miles an hour. Speed two. Eight amps, 13 volts. Three miles an hour on speed three. Speed four, we're still at three miles an hour. 14 amps, 13 volts. If you guys have a better speedometer, let me know. Better app, that's free. So I just downloaded this on the way here. I wish I had a 3.4, 3.9 or something on there. Speed five, speed five. 25 amps, 13 volts, 4 miles an hour. I can't seem to get it faster than that. Keep in mind, weight is irrelevant to voltage. You can have a 36 volt, 30 amp power battery pack that weighs equivalent to a 12 volt, uh, 90 amp battery battery pack. Do you see what I'm saying? The NT300 is 36 volts. All the trolling motors I have are 12 volts. So we're going to compare wattages to speeds now. How fast you can go consuming how much power. All the tests are going downstream. The NT300 consumed only 99 watts to go up to 3 miles an hour. The main Coda motor took 148 watts to go 3 miles an hour. The GoPlus motor 
212 watts to go three miles an hour. That's all. That's more than double. So, no matter how you slice it, the NT300 will give you the longest run times out of your existing battery bank that you already have set up. Um, so there is the numbers. The numbers are there. Uh, I, I I absolutely love the NT300. There's some the things that the Newport can improve on. Uh, for the price, it's the cheapest electric outboard you're going to get. I think it's worth it. I love it. If I were to compare the NT300 and a trolling motor to gasoline engines, the NT300 will give you the most horsepower, consuming the least amount of fuel. Now these tests don't also include me going upstream or uh, against the wind or any other variables, maybe a heavy uh, loaded up canoe or, or just a heavy load in general. These numbers go down quite a bit. The more weight you add, the more power you're going to be using to go the same amount of speed on your trolling motor. So depends on how you look at it. If, if the NT300 is worth it to you, um, it depends on how much you value your electricity and how much you value your time on the water because it is more efficient and it get, will give you longer run time. So keep that in mind. I'm not sponsored. You can buy the NT300 at your own risk. I absolutely love it. Um, it's not perfect. There's some things I need to improve on, but overall, I like it. I hope these numbers help you a little bit, and I'll just thank you for watching, and stay safe.